Hi, I'm Izzy from Izzy's Brooklyn Smokehouse, and today we're gonna smoke a chicken. Here we have our three pound chicken. We're gonna make our rub. So we got one part black pepper, one part salt, enough to taste brown sugar, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, teeny bit of cayenne. We're just gonna go ahead and mix this all up. Now our rub will give us a nice balanced heat, sweet, savory flavor. Now you're gonna take your oil, put it over the chicken. Gonna rub our chicken nicely. We get some of our rub, we're gonna start to sprinkle. I always love to season for my pie. Gets more of an even coating. Turn our chicken over. So now our chicken is rubbed. You could put it in the fridge for a few hours. You could put it directly on the grill. It depends how much of a rush you're in. We're gonna smoke the chicken first. So here we have our hickory and cherry wood chips, which I love to use because chicken is generally bland flavor compared to beef. So you got your fruity for cherry and you got your hickory. So pick up our grill, put our hot glove on because we're gonna need to pick up the grate. Move this to the side a bit, like that. And get a handful of hickory chips, just like that. A handful of cherry chips. Put the grate back like how it was before. We're about to put our chicken on the grill. Here we have our hot side, our direct side, and here we have our indirect side. Now we're gonna take our chicken that's already been rubbed, and we're gonna put it on the indirect side of the grill, not the hot side. And we're gonna make sure when we put it down, we're gonna put our legs towards the fire because the legs are able to withstand heat much more than the breast. Breast tends to dry out much quicker, so we're gonna place our chicken down just like that, and we'll be back in three hours. So while this chicken is on the grill, I took the liberty to prepare some nice fruits and veggies over here. You know, since I have time in the middle, we got some peaches, we got some pineapples, some peppers, all good stuff to accompany chicken and some good dessert. This grill is actually a really convenient grill, you know, if you're in a park for hot dogs and burgers, but even in your own home, good for fruits, veggies, and all kinds of sides. All right, guys, now that it's been a few hours, we're gonna temp our chicken. What we're looking for is we're looking for 165 in the breast and 175 in the thigh because we don't want our chicken to be medium rare. Here's a great example how we're gonna use both smoking and indirect. What smoking does, it gives you a nice flavorful chicken, but what it does lack is a little bit of a bark. So what I love to do is that towards the end of the cook, I love taking the chicken and throwing it directly on the grill to get a nice, nice sear on the skin. Here we have beer, but you could use apple juice, water, vinegar, schmaltz, whatever you want. All right guys, our chicken is now done and we're taking it off the grill. Got a nice sear, got a nice smoke flavor. Pretty hot. Here we got our smoked chicken on our cutting board from Yukon Glory. You have your knife over here, really convenient and easy to use and easy to take with you. We're gonna start to carve up our chicken. First, I'm gonna start off with the legs and the thighs. Easy trick to do is, um, for the thighs, you just you want to crack that bone over here. So see, look how gorgeous that comes off. Beautiful. All right, so here we have your everyone platter. We have your chicken and we have your vegan platter in the front over there. It works for everybody. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.